Yo, 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 what's up everyone? Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up Webull Desktop for Options Trading in 2023. Um, first thing first, of course, you gotta have Webull in order to do this. Um, it's free, no commission, um, so it's great for smaller accounts, especially on options. Um, I know TD Ameritrade as well, but I love using the desktop feature because of simply this ladder here and then also i can use the options um, premium chart to help me with entries and exits so the end goal is to get it something like this you know you can change the layout however suits you but this is how i like it so first thing first hop over here and i'm gonna click new layout i'm just gonna start with the blank one um i don't like the options trader they have set up it, it's kind of weird so what am i gonna add so first thing first throw a chart on here throw options go over here to trade price ladder this is the one i use um you can use active trader or active order entry active trader whatever um you want to be and then i like to throw on the positions thing down here move that down for a second and then general throw on a watch list so i can click on these names here and they'll show up on my uh, chart and then last for the market I like to go here top options and this is one um, that just shows me the top traded options so next gonna group all these as a group one just so they stay together one all right so now they're all grouped together so what I'm gonna do throw this over here just move this thing over here move this over here move this down here and then I'm gonna shrink this a little bit um, but these are really the things you know that I like to use for options trading and the big one here would be th this uh, options ladder over here. So what I do, I'll move this over for a second, move this, make it real tall and skinny. I don't really care. All right, cool. And then I'm just gonna shrink this down here, um, make it match up. So, you know, you can change however you want this layout to be. So what I do, we'll make this big and show you how I really like to use it and how it's optimal for uh, options trading. I'm going to take this off. I don't care about the MA. So what I can do, right, is let's say I have my watch list up here. Let's go to just my watch list. Um, say I want to trade a spy. So uh, we'll say we're going to go to this four-day out, look at calls. I'm going to switch this up to 20. Um, I like that. Shrink this down. So say I'm looking at calls. Um, let's say I was looking at these. I don't want zero-day. I want four-day. All right. Say I'm looking at these four tens for a uh, Tuesday. It will pull up, pull up that options premium chart over here. And what I like to do is just chart out um, support and resistance based off of the five hour and 15 minute here on this. And then when it comes to entry, so this is where I think the big difference is. And this is something that we will put in. I can click buy limit and it will buy a, it'll put a limit order in at that price. I can then set a sell limit when I want to sell. And I also can set stop losses for sell stop below that price so it's really nice there um, i can also set stop losses based on a percent if you're doing that or what i like to do is set entered into these calls right here on this uh candle here at 0.60 because it is a support and then i want to stop out at 0.60 and i get stopped out here i can set my stop loss right there so what i would do is let's say my entry is uh, 0.65 all right I'll push sell stop here and it'll set a stop loss there. Then for take profit, you can do the same thing as well. So in this case, maybe I'm aiming for a quick little scalp up towards um, 0.77. So then I can set this sell limit at 0.77 or set a, push this take profit button here and set my limit price at 0.77. Um, and then I can adjust that up as we go. So if I have a stop set at 0.60 and I'll move, move it up 0.75, all I do is click on the uh, set the stop order right here and drag it up to 0.65 and it'll associate that with my new stop. If this is something you want to do, um, I'll leave a link in the bio for Weeble, but if you already have Weeble, I really recommend this um, for, for day trading, especially if you are trading options. You can do it with normal stock as well, but it's really helpful for options. 